Okay, um, Slayer here, another YouTube video. Um, this one is not a commentary, or in a sense it is, but, uh, if you look elsewhere on my account, you'll see a, um, well, there's a little alpha video of a little game I've been working on. And, uh, this game I made about, uh, I started it about a year ago, um, and I got to this point um at the beginning of this year about january um it was for a contest that is actually running now and i'm preparing a second entry for this new contest but the name of the game is uh system crash and the um well the game the game itself is uh basically my little co uh compiled storyline is uh you're part of a system and uh, well its own antivirus is being turned against itself now you're the last of the antivirus, and uh, you must survive at all costs. So um, I wrote this game in C++ um, using uh, SF SFML um, for my library for all the screen drawing and music stuff. Um, and uh, the rest is just pure C++, my own code. Um, I planned on using Spark Particle Engines, you know, Particle Engine stuff, but I couldn't figure it out. But, uh, here we can see some of my high scores. Yeah. And, uh, here we see a new game. Now, here we got, you know, your, uh, well, you can run. You can walk. You have your health bar here. You have your, uh, run bar here. And then you have your weapon and ammo counter here. And then this is, like, a little zombie thing. Shoot. Die. Alright. And someone's mentioned me and missing me on Facebook. Now, um, there are a few, well, more than a few issues I need to work out with this thing. Uh, for instance, some collision detection is weird, like that. But, uh, yeah, I have uh, quite a few uh, weapons um, now supported. Um, in the first one, I, it didn't show it nearly as well as uh, it shows it here, um, how the weapons uh, actually look like. Let's, let's save that one. This one's my favorite weapon. Let's save that one for later. Um, I'll show you when we have no more enemies. Um, enemies spawn on the edges, um, and it's proportional to what your score is. So the more zombies you kill... Uh, the more zombies will spawn, and uh, zombies spawn approximately every half second. Um, I, I think I, I did about two every half second. Um, and um, beginning, you, if if you watched my first video, um, it got quite out of hand um, when I didn't have that in place. And uh, well. Now it's more, much more manageable. You don't get, you don't get as many enemies on the screen um, so fast. So let's kill some of these. Spawn more enemies. And um, ammo you pick up um, stays with you, so you can compile ammo by um, not using something and switching to another weapon by picking up a box. And uh, boxes are random. Um, yep. Th this. The minigun is, uh, well, as you can see, fires a lot, and, uh, indiscriminately, and, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's too powerful. I, I'm probably, what I'm probably going to do is, uh, severely nerf the, um, how much, uh, damage it does, because, I mean, look at this. It just makes it way too easy. Even even if it, you're you're wasting a lot of ammunition, once you, you get the all these filled enemies, it just becomes a bit hectic. Um, and it fires rounds at about 50 rounds per second. So and it, before I had 100, and it would just dominate everything. So let's let's save that though. Usually I use the shotgun or the machine gun. And uh, we froze. Oh, there we go. Don't know what happened there, but whatever. Um, 
Actually, that's never happened to me before playing this game. It shouldn't have happened. There's nothing in the code to make it happen. Um, maybe, maybe some really weird things with the laser to, because of how it works could get stuck in a loop, but there's nothing on my end that should have made it really freeze, so I, I bet it was just on the uh, operating system part because I'm recording. But yep, as you see now, um, you have, I only have two types of zombies. There's the slower, the weaker, and the smaller regular zombies. And then you have the, uh, faster, larger, and, uh, well, more health enemies there. And, uh, the, um, the small ones only go, oh, th this is also a cool weapon, the flamethrower. Yes, I know, I know you're like that awesome alpha effect, and the awesome growing circle effect. Believe me, it was a bitch to program. And, uh, oh crap, I went to the handgun. Yeah, handguns do not regenerate ammo. You cannot pick up more ammo for it. So once you're out, you are out. And um, I might have that. Eventually, when I make this game a uh, multi-level game, then uh, that will even stay true for the rest. All right, so you can see now we're getting more and more enemies because my score is going up up here. And, um, well, back to what I was saying about the movement speed is the regular zombies move only half as fast um, as your normal speed. And, uh, well, the big zombies, they move just as fast as your normal speed. Oh, and it, now you'll see the power of the miniguns. See, I just, I can just clear this entire field right here and look at my, look at my score up here. It, it's just increasing monstrously. Like I probably fire this in one direction. I, I, I'll just oh never mind. Well yeah, I, I just fire in one direction and uh, well probably get lots of kills. But now now that we have a lot of enemies here. It's time to show you off my favorite weapon and my, my, my most unique weapon. It's called the laser. Okay, because well it does this. It splits off more lasers. That split off more lasers. That split off more lasers. If you get it just right, you can get that. And, uh, well, when that happens, it just feels awesome. Laser is a instant kill weapon. Had to be that way, due to the way I had it programmed. Um, or else it would inf it'd probably infinitely spawn off... Uh, or keep spawning off these uh, flakes. Um... So I had to have it kill the zombie outright. So that makes it a bit of an overpowered weapon, but I, I counter it by making it a lot less ammo than uh, other weapons. So it, it's definitely something to help clear the field a bit. But as you see here, it, it doesn't really do it for long. The, the um, minigun, if you save up a lot of ammo, like 5,000 rounds of ammo, uh, does it for a much longer period of time. Um... Something though, something that I'm eventually going to uh, fix though is um, I'm going to make the uh, laser not outright kill the enemy, but still split off only the proper amount of uh, flakes, of uh, beams. So it sort of goes through and just damages, slightly damages um, all the enemies it hits. Um, also another thing, watch this. I'm going to shoot this guy close range and it's going to kill this guy. Or at least I thought it would. Okay. Um, or as you see, if you could see in that, it sort of, yeah, goes through. Like some, like a lot of the shots just go through the enemies. Um, and that's because uh, when when these shots are hitting the enemy, um, only one uh, bullet from the shotgun is uh, being um, deleted. The one that the one that technically kills the enemy is the one that gets deleted and the rest continue on like nothing ever happened. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to where um, zombies will fade out and that you can bas you're can you basically going to get a meat shield where the all the rounds that hit the zombie are stopped and deleted. So basically it becomes much harder to 
do that right there where I just killed those zombies back there. Um, and basically, it, it's more realistic in that sense of, uh, you know, meat shield. And I call them zombies because it was originally going to be a zombie game. It basically is a zombie game, except it's just antivirus zombies. Computer zombies, which ironically would make a very good movie, I think. Okay. Oh, and the uh, the, the flamethrower is an amazing weapon to uh, just run and destroy things with. Alright. Now, there is... Oh, that was beautiful. There is a uh, Easter egg, and um, I will put the link to download this game in the description, even though this is technically a beta, um, and I challenge you all to find it. And, uh, well, a little hint, uh, read me, say read me for a reason, but, uh, <laughs> that's enough of that. And, uh, yeah, so more about, um, what my plans for this game originally were, was, um, I wanted to create sort of a tower defense dual stick shooter game. Um, basically... What this game will eventually have, should I complete it, is uh, you will have allies. You will have uh, a base of operations, you know, um, towers that will shoot at enemies. Um, enemies will attack the towers. Um, stuff like that. Um, and it'll be multi-level that you can go through, you know, at any time. Like, um, you'd be in the middle here, a fortified castle. Uh, these guys are trying to uh, break in. And you can either choose to fight it out in the courtyard or immediately moves like say the throne room or like the central server as it would be in uh, this game um... and uh, i was gonna have multiple things like that um... to do that what i'll probably have to do is i'll have to set up spawn zones for zombies because i don't want zombies just to come in from you know one direction so you can spawn camp them even though eventually you'd be overrun anyway no matter what weapons you have or how much ammunition you have, because you don't ever have infinite ammunition. Especially with the, uh, handgun. But, um, multiple entrances and, uh, multiple spawn zones would definitely be a must. As would a level editor. That also helps. Level editor wouldn't be too hard, I just need to get the actual code for the levels down. Um... There's also going to be, uh, I want to get more enemy types right now. Um, the large enemies have a 1 in 10 chance of spawning. And I have it in a very hackish way, I feel. Uh, very, yeah, another uh, lag thing for me. I don't know if it will show up in the video, but it did for me. But uh, basically, it just says, you know, makes a random number 1 out of 10. And if it's 10, then spawn with big zombie. And, um, the way it does it, you know, the, the way I have it, basically I can just do, um, multiples of 10, so, for each increasing zombie, it would increase by a rate of 10 for, um, if it spawns or not, and I need to change that. Uh, I need to find a way to get, um, you know, ratios of, alright, it has this percentage of it working, or this percentage of it, you know, not spawning. And, um, I already sort of know how I can do that. I just need to go out and do it. Um. So, yeah. By the way, th this, uh, what, what the contest was made for was, um, for a website called Semitech. It's a calculator website, mainly calculator and technology website. And that was the first time they had a computer section, so I decided to uh, apply for it. And um, the contest theme was arcade games, so I ended up making arcade game. Um, this game ended up taking first in the computer section um, against some very great entries, um, I must say. Uh, and so hopefully I want it to become something more than just a uh, little contest since this is my f the farthest I've ever gotten on working on completing a game. Um, which is saying something, since, well, every other game I played, it just gets stalled, or I make, but, well, we all, we all can prove somehow.
So, with that, I will leave you to, uh, well, my ultimate death by zombie apocalypse. Which, I won't let happen. And I can, I can go on this game for a while. I mean, the, the weapons are overpowered. If you know how to get out, you can get out. See, like, like this. Overpowered. Um... I need to I need to figure out uh, what proper statistics would be for um, better pacing, but that's later. Um, and just as a final detail, um, this game is open under I believe since I usually do this for all my games anyways the uh, what the fuck license, and basically what this says is literally do whatever the you want with it all right i don't care um sfml portion um is open under i think the uh gpl if i remember correctly um it might 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 not um you'd have to research that yourself um but whatever my code is you are welcome to use it for whatever purpose you want um, hell, if someone's even interested in helping me work on this, community project for this would actually be quite welcome. Ooh, that guy spawned right on me. Yep. Um, also, the graphics would not look like this in the final version. Um, I am figuring out particle systems, even though it's a massive headache. And so eventually, all this... Instead of just being drawn lines and circles and shapes, would uh, be actual particles um, updating um, in a system. And uh, that gives me uh, a better range of effects to do. And also, it would it'd make it uh, generally easier to um, visualize uh, bullets and all that, since everything would just be a particle. Even though these simple graphics work fine enough. So, uh, yeah, you will never take me alive. And I'll just stay here and fight to my death. And, it, well, it shouldn't be long to one of these larger ones to finish me off. Yep. System error. Click continue. My, I didn't, I, well, I don't know if that was my high score or not, but, yeah, I'll take it. And, uh, yeah, credits to my game, and there we go. And, uh, yep, this is old, yeah. I will continue to work on this project even after the contest is concluded. There are a lot of features that I wish to include that I never got around to because I got lazy. I will admit it, I get lazy. Like, very lazy. I didn't work on this game for a month, and I <laughs> hacked it together at the last minute. So the code sucks and is a mess. By the way, if any of you do want to take out, check out the code, good luck. But, oh, I do not know how to do yet, like, particle systems. So please keep it interested in the project, because it's only a tenth of it will be. Probably even less. If it is ever anything. Um, but yeah. With that, I'll leave you with that. And, uh, I do.